All right, everyone. This is Midnight Storm. I'm about to start playing Cuphead. I haven't played this in a long time, so let's see how well I do. Uh, just you know, let me know if I suck, because I probably do. It's gonna be one of those days where you're gonna giggle at my terribleness. Okay, once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home and, despite Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. <laughs> nice run, boys. <clears throat> Laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we race the stakes? He suggested with a tooth and grin. Win one more roll. And all the loot in the casino, my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls, deal. Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the ages. But he was too late. Snake eyes! laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be a way, way to obey you. Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister. Cuphead added. You know, Cuphead sounds a lot like a little girl. Anyway. Perhaps there is devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two months. Now get going! The devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise, I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! Handed Cuphead. We have to find Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. Oh, look, we found Elder Kettle. That was hard. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns, devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those soul contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends will be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion. They won't hang so they won't hang you out to dry. I will give you the most remarkable magic abilities. It. It, not he. Anyway. Now, go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Man, I wish I could prepare myself for a scrap by jumping into an equel. All right, the tutorial. Duck. Hold down to crouch. Jump. Tap A for short. Hold for high. Dash. Evade on ground or air. Ooh, okay, crap. Ooh, that's fancy. Down and A, descend, drop down from certain platforms. And then I can't jump back up, so I'm screwed. Okay. All right. And then, boop. Eight way aiming. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah, they're right. Got to read this. Okay. Uh, Perry Slap. Press jump while airborne 
to nullify with pink objects. This also builds your super meter. Super meter! Alright. Resurrect. Revive your dead pal with a well-timed parry on the ghost. Two-player mode only. Well, that's lame. Hey. Okay, never mind. Alright. X move. An upgraded attack that requires one super meter card. Okay. Coin. Collect coins to purchase items from the shop. Well, I'd hope so. Either that or extra lives, but you don't have lives, so... I don't know what kind of music you're listening to right there. Because no one can hear it, but... Unless it's that doo 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 stuff, but otherwise... Anyway, okay, so, I really like this game. I really do. I, from what I remember, it's a really good game. It's really hard. Everybody I've ever talked to about it has died a lot. But they liked it. Well, I used to be the same way. Wait, yeah. Something about getting into trouble. Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around, going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. So I didn't see what he said at first. So, you know, because I was talking. I do that a lot. Alright, so now we got four coins. Woo! We have... Give me on. Forest, forest Follies. Wait, folly, fo Follies, not Frollies. And Botanic Panic. With a root pack. If I never can remember their name. Ruse of an Ooze. That sounds gross. And then we have Shop. Pork Rinds Emporium. I've never read that before. That's actually hilarious. Smoke Bomb, Invisible Dash. You will not take any damage during a dash. A great defensive maneuver. Roundabout. Spread. Uh, chaser. Um, I don't know which one I want to go with. I'm going to go with this one. Just because. Lobber! Kablooey! Hmm. Medium range and good damage with a slow rate of fire. Alright. You got to equip th those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums! What's up with every everybody like in the 1930s cartoons calling people bums like Pea Shooter? Mega Blast. And then we have the spread with the eight way shot. Alright. And then we got super. Oh, nope. Don't got a super. Don't got any charms. And I don't have a damn clue what's supposed to be in there. Alright. So we got the Botanic Panic. Or we got the Ruse of the News. Or we've got the Forest Frollies. I'm gonna go with Botanic Panic first because. Why not? A brawl is surely brewing. It's on. No. See, I know some of this, but I'm shit. But I definitely don't know what I need to know. Not like die a lot, so. Oh god, go away. Thank you. Walking my view of myself. Yeah, get in the ground, punk. Yeah. Jet. Jet. Bastard. What's in here? God damn you. Cheap asshole. You can't just start shooting. I'm never using that if it makes
eats my vegetables won't kill me. This is ridiculous. Shit, shit, shit. No, no. I'm gonna try this on your face. First try. I didn't think that was gonna happen at all. HP bonus of one. Parry of three. Supreme meter of two. Two out of six, and I got a B. I'm okay with a B. As long as I don't get an F, I'll just be dying. I'll probably be fine. Soul Contract, the Root Pack! The Devil's Office, you got the Root Pack Soul Contract. Woo! Okay. One down, I don't know how many more to go. Okay, harumph. I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm gonna put my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the Devil probably controls that place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. Really? You'd much rather... Th That's what I say, harumph. You'd much rather have random people out, out finding your... money and keep it in the bank and be able to spend it. Okay. I mean... I hope I find your money. Like, you know, that'd be fantastic. Just randomly. Oh, look at that money! Alright. So, Forest Follies, Forest Follies, or Goopy Macron. Let's. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do the other boss just because. Good day for a swell battle. Now go! Alright, now let's, let's figure out what goes on here. Aha! Yes. So. I like how, uh. I like how they look extremely unique, but look a lot like characters from the 1930s. Like. <clears throat> you know, he looks like. Somebody you can't remember the name. I know that I've seen a face that looks like, okay, not, well, yeah, that too, but you know that most of these people are extremely close to someone who already exists in the cartoon world, and you just don't, you can't think of who they are because these guys are so good. But I love this, I love this art style. Oh my god, I never noticed in the background this. I never noticed in the background. Water's flowing. I mean, it's been like, what, like a year or so since I played this, but the point is, I didn't ever know. I gotta see what other things in the background move. Because that's kind of cool. I mean, I guess they're trying to distract you to murder you, but I'm pretty sure that would be a very good murder technique. Like, hey, we're gonna move something in the background for you people that have ADHD and die. Just like this guy. Asshole. You can't be dead and then kill me. That's just cheap. I don't agree with cheap. If you are if you are a grave, if you are a tombstone, you should be dead. The only difference is like if you 
start out dead, like in Mario, the booze. Like, they... They are okay. But once you kill the dead thing, it shouldn't be able to come back as a dead, dead thing. Just don't tell that, just don't tell that to the Legend of Zelda, because they... Wow, I didn't get hit. I didn't notice I didn't get hit. I thought I got hit. Now I only use one super meter, but still. I didn't know I didn't get I didn't know I didn't get hit. That's actually pretty scary. I should have done hit first. Okay, so I need a drink because I'm coughing a lot. And I just flung a quarter or something. Soul contract, Doopy Legrand, the devil's office, and then some kind of signature. I don't know whose signatures those are, but that's. You got the Goopy Legrand soul contract. All right, two down, a bunch more to go. Now let's see what this is. Forest Follies. You're up! Oh, hell. No. Coin, coin, my coin. No. No. Shit, no. I itched and then that, that almost killed me. I don't want to be murdered because I got an itchy eye. I'm about to be murdered because I have an NGI because these guys don't care. No. Pink things. Pink things. Gotta remember pink things. I don't know, however, which pink things are and are not involved in there. Like... Like... Is there a certain pink things that aren't? I don't know if that was pink or not. Like, I'm not brave enough to, like, unless it's bright, flamboyant pink, like that. I don't know if that's pink. Also, I can't see colors very well. So, all of y'all that are trying to be like, of course that's not pink, dude. Just look with your eyes. Well, you don't see colors, you bastard. It doesn't work. Like, that's just as pink to me. So. I don't see a difference in that, so... Oh, damn it. Is that pink? Yeah, that's pink. Okay, okay good. I kind of feel like a dick smacking the... Oh. Smacking the, uh, butterfly, but whatever. No. Enough of that crap. See that weirdo's face? Oh my god. That was a little bit freaky, not gonna lie. He's just like, what's wrong with you, man? Bravo! Holy crap. Did I die on that one? God, I got all the gold coins too. A bee! But it also took me two minutes and 35 seconds, and since that's not yellow, I'm guessing that's bad. So, you know. I didn't die, but I took like 10 times longer than one. I got a bridge! Yay! I'm not gonna buy anything yet, because I don't know if I want anything. However, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to a fish. Ignore, be gone, spirits. Oh wait, you're real. I was about to hit you with the old parry move. 
That's how you deal with ghosts around here. Okay. Only a nitwit tries shooting someone who ain't really there. Um, doesn't that go to the same with parrying? Speaking of not being places, would you fellas mind moving on? You're spooking the fish. Well, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> That was terrible. That was terrible. I, I, I apologize to the entire world for that. Here comes a spooky bunch. And it it cupcake. And it'll, it'll replenish the innocence I just stole with that terrible pun. Horrible joke. Okay, so I guess since they're like super bright pink, that's why you're supposed to parry slap them. Let me try shooting them. Yeah. I want to be a nit. Oh. Okay, so don't try shooting them because then they eat your, uh, You're up. they eat your whatever this is. At least he looked like he ate it. Now I gotta, I wonder, I'm wondering why. If the ghost touch it, it's a problem. See, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it, so I can't, I can't let him eat it. Him, he's gonna eat it. Both of these are going to eat it. Wow, that was cool. What the heck were you? Nom, nom, nom. You can't eat my pot, okay? You can't eat my pot. Victory! Gosh, I don't know how to thank the boys for saving me. Where are my manners? I didn't even introduce myself. I am known as the legendary Chalice. Pleased to meet you. I was searching for magic and got trapped by those ghosts. Speaking of magic, please accept this gift. It should help. There are other mausoleums around Inkwell Isle. I just wonder. Don't. Don't wonder anything. Don't wonder at all. Because it, 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 it goes bad. You unlocked your first super. If I read that right. I didn't really pay attention. Dear me, you mustn't forget that magical super arts have to be equipped in the menu before, uh, before use. At least you didn't call me a bum. That kind of aggravated me. You bum? Listen here. I will punch you in the face. Call me a bum again. Alright, so now that I have a super art. Let's look at this. What's that? You two want to fly a plane like I do? Ha! You're not sitting in any cockpit till you study those blueprints. Well, it looks like I'm gonna study those blueprints then, huh? Aeroplane blueprint! Is that an airplane? Because, you know, apparently it's not the same thing. Alright. Shoot! Hold for rapid fire. B, special. One, one meter. X attack. Full meter super bomb morph. Okay. Parry. Press at any time to nullify or interact with pink objects. Okay, so. Let's see. Full. Turns me into a bomb. One turns into a bullet that eats things. All right, shrink. Hold to reduce size and increase speed. I don't see much increased speed, but okay, I'll go with it. I 
can't parry attack while you do it. Okay, equipped with mini bullets. All right, so that's enough of that. Oh, look! Read a blueprint, get a bridge. Can you hand me a couple other blueprints I can read other places so that I don't have to, like, deal with the crap? Hildeberg in Threatening Led uh, Threatening Zeppelin. Threatening Zeppelin. All right. A brawl is surely brewing. Now go. I'm gonna shoot her face. Ow. Holy crap. No, stop. Oh, God. Damn it. All right. A great slam and then stop. Here goes. Beat the two bosses. That's a, that's a good sign. No. That's a good, that's a good sign. I, I can accept that. Pink. I can accept two bosses. And a world, especially since it was like relatively, God, relatively easy. Now that I say that, I'm gonna be screwed for everybody else that ever comes into existence. So, like, I'm gonna be on her for like 20 hours. And it's just gonna not be pissed. All right, so I bet. All right, big ball. Take that. because you see all the different elements on the screen and you're just like, oh no, I gotta watch out for this, this, and this. And then you don't notice something tiny coming up from, you know, swooping behind and hitting you. And you're just like, where did that come from? So it's not... Honestly, not that hard. Of a game. It 
it's just a hard game. I don't know how to describe it. But the hardest part for me is the fact that they have so much going on on screen and you get lost. You got the Hildeberg Soul Contract. One for the fact that there was so much going on on the screen, it wouldn't be as hard. So, crap. So, you know. But, I mean, so let me know if you guys had as hard of a time with this as I did. Or if you had a super easy time. Let me know if I suck. Let me know if you think I'm doing pretty well. Whatever. You know, just leave, leave a... Leave a comment and let me know, you know, am I doing good? Am I sucking? Did you have a hard time with the certain bosses? Did you have an easy time with any of the bosses I did? What about the worlds? You know, just, and make sure you hit that like button so that, you know, I can know how many of you actually liked it. And I will try to get on there at least every Friday. So, at no more than two weeks at a time will I not have a video. So, but y'all, keep gaming out there. Because otherwise, the world gets lame. We don't want lame. We don't want lame. And I've been walking around here for like two minutes now. Okay, so, yeah. Leave a comment. Was I sucky? Was I good? Did you have trouble with the bosses that I played? Did you have a super easy time with them? And make sure you hit that like button to let me know how many of y'all actually wanted to watch this video. And I will see you next video. Bye!